Starting lineups, first for your McConaughey Braves. Number five, Kylie Marshall. Number 13, Chloe Smith. Number 20, Maddie Weibel. Number 22, Araya Johnson. And number 10, Shaylin Powell. Now for the home team of the scoreboard, your Pioneer Panthers. Number 15, Anna Schumacher. Number 20, Kirsten Nye. Number 23, Julia Marie. Number 40, Gracie Hopper. And 13, Kennedy Cohort. All right, so McConaughey going with Marshall, Powell, Smith, Weibel, and Johnson. For the Panthers, it's going to be Korn, Shmotan, Nyes, McGrew, and Hopper. Your starting lineup for the JV contest here tonight. Nyes and Powell for the tip. Ball is in the air, tipped back to Gracie Hopper, and we are underway. Nice misses on the opening shot. Second rebound attempt opportunity, no good. And Gracie Hopper, Hopper is there to clean it up. So the Panthers on the board with their first trip down the floor, and the, Pan or the uh, Braves coming back now. It's like a little 2-3 zone here for the Panthers to start things off. And that's going to be a turnover. McGrew comes up with the steal. Nice shot fake there by Nyes. Boy, she had an open look at 15. That's her shot. I'd like to see her take that. Gets around one. And not able to put that one in. I'd like to see her go on the other side of the, the basket there and do a little reverse layup and, and go on, but uh, not able to put that in. Back the other way come the Braves. Early 2-0 lead for the Pioneer Panthers. I know if different lineups here for both teams. I think, uh, you know, some injuries and some illness so everybody's kind of working through and trying to do the best they can to keep things going corn gets it out to shimotan up to nyes Drive to the bucket, Shmotan's shot is off the mark, and the rebound to Weibel of the McConaughey Braves. Back the other way come McConaughey. Three-pointer Marshall off the mark, offensive glass, and Shmotan gets the rebound. She's going to hold it up. Good job there by McConaughey getting back on defense. That one's going to be poked out of bounds. Good defense there by Johnson. Schmotan trying to get it into Gracie Hopper. That one is stolen. Coming back the other way is Smith putting it in for two for McConaughey. Tying us up at two. Quickly down the floor to Korn. 
Oh, nice got a nice drive there, got into the paint, loses the ball. Ten footer for Shimotan. The Braves call a timeout. It's a full one. We'll take a break with them and be back with more here on RTC TV four from the cage at Pioneer High School. All right, back here at the cage at Pioneer High School, 3.32 to go in the first quarter of the JV contest. It's a 4-2 lead for Pioneer. Conoqua called a timeout, so it'll be the Braves with the ball coming out of the break. Shot off the mark, rebound to Hopper. Nice, pushes it across the 10 second line and that's gonna be stolen by Marshall. And a turnover on the carry goes back to the Panthers. Thirteen footer for Nyes is good. We'll thank Hunter Lesher for coming in and helping out. He's a member of the A V club here at Pioneer High School. Kind of a last minute assignment. The uh two that had signed up to uh, help out. I think uh, we're both feeling under the weather, so they uh, weren't able to come. So Hunter jumped in there, and we really appreciate him coming in and uh, helping out with us. First basketball game he's done. He's uh, helped us out with football. So I, I told him, I said, this is a much smaller court than the football field, so you should be, uh, should be good here. And there's a steal by Shimotan. Nice ball movement there by the Panthers, and another one for Kirsten Nyes. That's two buckets in a row, and a six-point lead for the Panthers, largest of the game for the Pioneer. Just inside the three-point line, and Nyes with the rebound for the Panthers. Quickly down. McGrew gets her shot blocked, but able to come up with the loose ball. Pass into Corn, and it's loose. Nice comes up with it. And that pass is going to be picked off by Powell. Minute 30 to go here in the first quarter. And that bucket is good. So coming in for the Panthers is Hathaway, Lehman, and Allison McGrew.
Traveling called. There's sixth turnover of the quarter for the Braves. Oh, nice job there. That was a pickoff by Powell. Fifth turnover for the Panthers here in the quarter. 20 seconds to go. Good job of blocking out there by McGrew. Four seconds. Nice. has got to go. And off the front iron at the buzzer after one here in the JV contest. Panthers lead 8-4. We'll take a break and come back with the second quarter in just a moment here on RTC TV4. Lino Shimotan back into the game. Nyes is going to take a break. So we got McGrew, McGrew, Shimotan, Lehman, and Hathaway for the Panthers to start the second quarter. Nice pass into Hathaway, and she loses her feet. And a 30-second timeout called by Coach Burns saves the possession. So we'll keep it here with the 30-second timeout. Panthers have the ball here, baseline left. Shimotan into McGrew, shot just a little hard. Hathaway gets the offensive rebound for the Panthers. Inside, back out to Shimotan. Kicks it over to Allison McGrew, down to her sister. Power move off the side of the iron. Allison McGrew, offensive rebound. And she's going to go to the line. She's going to get fouled. And it's going to be on Johnson. That's her first, team's second. Only the second foul here in the game. Allison McGrew at the free throw line is good on the first. Second is off the back, no good. Rebound to Johnson. Lehman might have got a piece of that. Shimotan gets the rebound. Picks up her dribble, gets it over to Lehman on the right wing, back up top. And that one is picked off by the Braves. So turnover to Lehman. Panthers staying in that 2 3 zone. Been pretty effective here. The Panthers or Braves only getting four points thus far. 5.20 to go here in the first half. Good job getting into the paint. Kick out, shot, no good. Rebound off of McConaughey. Kirsten Nye is getting ready to check back into the game. Pass picked off by Marshall. Second turnover for the Panthers here in the quarter already. Quickly. Reversing. Get on the line there. 
And they're going to get McGrew on the reach. Allison McGrew picking up her first. Team's first. Hopper, Corn, and Nyes checking back into the game for Pioneer. Hathaway, Lehman, and McGrew, Julia McGrew, going to take a break. Tipped out of bounds off the Panthers. It's going to stay McConaughey's ball. 4.41 to go here in the first half. Sixteen footer off the mark for Smith. The rebound to Gracie Hopper. Kicks it ahead to Kirsten Nyes. Ooh. Nyes got lucky there. She kind of changed her mind, I think, in mid step. Kick over corn. Ten footer. No good. Hopper rebound attempt. And they're gonna say it's off of Gracie. It'll be Conclaw's ball. Right wing, Marshall Long. And it's going to go out of bounds. It'll be Panthers ball. That one tipped out of bounds. It's going to stay Pioneers ball. And McConaughey is going to call a timeout, 32nd timeout called by the Braves. We'll keep it here. Looking down the list of uh, games we got going on, Caston Boys hosting the Culver Cavaliers tonight. Winnemac Wrestling hosting Rensselaer Central. That's going to be on Winnemac TV. Tomorrow night, the Culver girls will be hosting Frontier. We were just over at Frontier last week for Pioneer. And then I will be at the Berry Bowl as the Rochester Lady Z's will be traveling down State Road 25, taking on the Logan Sport Berries. Their former principal, Chris Kiesling, now the head coach at Logan Sport. They've already played once this year over at Twin Lakes. The Rochester Lady Zebras got that win. Got a bunch of games coming up Friday and Saturday. We'll go over those at the half. But uh, the shot long by Shimotan. Hopper gets the rebound on the weak side. The Panthers are going to reset. Nice pass into Allison McGrew, and she's going to get fouled. Go to the free throw line, shooting two more. One of two from the line so far here this evening for the junior Allison McGrew. Good on the first. And off the back iron on the second, just like the first trip. Good job there. Shimotan gets that loose ball. And back the other way, right back to Rose now. Marshall way off on the three. It's going to go out of bounds. And it's tipped, I believe. No? I'm going to say it wasn't tipped. So another turnover for the Panthers. I got them for nine first-half turnovers already. Just inside the three-point line, that shot is off the mark for Rose now. 
Panthers get the ball, pushing it across the timeline is Shimotan. Kicks it over, nice right wing. A lot of contact there. That one's pushed over to Shimotan. It's going to be a jump ball. That will be the Braves with the jump. Shot off the mark. Hopper with the rebound. Nice brings it quickly across the timeline. Nice look up to Corn. 4 2. An assist to Kirsten Nyes. Three pointer off the back iron by Marshall. Nice comes up with the rebound. She's got Hopper poked away. She saw her, but the good defense there by the Braves. Nice pass. Corn shots blocked. Good job there by Smith getting that block on Corn. Minute left here in the first half. Now Shimotan almost gets the steal right back into the hands of the Braves. And back up top, Smith going to reset the offense. Hopper almost gets the tie up. Shot 15 foot and no good. And Korn with the rebound. And a foul coming up on McConaughey. It's going to be on Johnson, her second, Johnson. team's third. Five years ball out of bounds. Bang comes into the game for McConaughey. Layman comes in for Pioneer. Not yet. Stay with the ball. Fifteen seconds, nice pass in, and Korn going to go to the free throw line shooting two. Rose now picks up the foul, her first team's fifth. Korn's first trip to the free throw line off the back iron, no good on the first. She's got one more coming. She has two here in the ball game. Second free throw for Korn. Same off the back iron. Rebound to the Braves. Ten seconds to go here in the half. An eight-point lead for the Panthers. Three-pointer no good. Nice gets the rebound. And that's going to do it for your first half. The Panthers lead 12-4. We will take a break, get you the halftime stats, and get ready for the second half here from the cage at Pioneer High School in just a moment here on RTC TV4. That's going to be Panthers ball here to start the second half. Corn long rebound, hopper on the weak side, 4-2 on the offensive glass. Hopper has four, and that pushes the lead to 10 for the Panthers. And that's going to be a steal by McGrew. A 
I had McConaughey with seven turnovers in the first half. That one makes it eight for the game. That foul was on Kira Rose now, her second. First of the half on McConaughey. Hopper almost gets in there and gets the steal, but the Braves are able to control it. Panthers staying in that 2-3 zone here to start the second half. Just inside the three-point line, Marshall long on that one, and the rebound to Kirsten Nyes. Nyes quickly crossed the timeline, pushes it ahead to Schmotan. Corn back up to Nyes. Nyes pulls the trigger off the mark. That one's going to be poked out of bounds off the Braves. Hopper just off on that five-footer. And we're going to have a tie-up. It will be McConaughey's ball on the jump. Foul on McGrew, her first. her first. McGrew and coming into the game is number 25, Chloe Lucas. Three-pointer short, McGrew with the rebound. And she's going to get called with the travel as she goes down. by McGrew knocking that off of a McConaughey player. Ball back over to the Panthers, 347 to go in the third quarter. And a traveling called on the Panthers. Fourth turnover here in the quarter.
Rebound, Korn kicks it out to Lucas. And a good pass in, and Nyes with two more for the Panthers. She has six, and the lead's 12. Lucas, three-pointer, top of the key, good. Off the corn, shot off the mark. McGrew had good position there, but not able to corral that one. And corn comes up with the steal off of the pass. Nice look ahead, and almost and one there for McGrew. Shot just doesn't fall. Foul on Rose now, her third. McGrew off on the first free throw. Hathaway and Lehman checking back into the game for the Panthers. Off on both, but Korn comes up with the offensive rebound, giving the Panthers another chance. Maybe a foul on the floor on McConaughey. It's going to be on Rose now, her fourth. Turnover on the Panthers, minute 12 to go here in the third quarter. Offensive rebound for the Braves. Give another opportunity here. Shot off the mark, and Hathaway comes up with the rebound. Kennedy Corn, coast to coast, can't quite put it in. Three-pointer, Marshall short, and it's going to be out of bounds. Sarah May tried to save it there as uh, 
Not able to. And that's going to do it here for the third quarter after three. The Panthers lead 19-6. Take a break and come back with fourth quarter action here from the cage at Pioneer High School in just a moment on RTC TV4. That would be the only thing I think that you can look at here for the Panthers is the turnovers. They've had five, four, and six, so 15 turnovers through three quarters. A little bit higher than I think Coach Burns would like. But other than that, their defense has been good. And uh, their scoring has been good as well. So it is the Panthers with the ball to start the fourth quarter here at the cage. Lucas kicks it over to Korn back up top. Lucas gets into the paint. Runner from eight is off the mark, and the rebound to the Braves. That one taken away by Lucas. And in for two. Uh, some help from the backside there. Steele gives the ball back over to the Braves. Control there. And the rebound to the Braves. Got a traveling called on McConaughey. Gives the ball back over to the Panthers with 525 to go in the ball game. It's been all pioneer here in this one. JV contest 21-6 with a little over five minutes to go. Schmotan pulls up from 10, and that shot's off the mark. The rebound to the Braves. And knocked away by McGrew. It's going to be McConaughey's ball. Checking back in is Rose now. She's got four fouls. Shot off the mark, but the rebound on the weak side. Another opportunity, and that one is put in by Weibel. Weibel, four two. And trying to find Hathaway. That pass is going to be a little high. Turnover for the Panthers. And three-pointer by Marshall. Marshall. 
That cuts it down to 10 here for the lead for the Panthers. Corn shots blocked. It's going to be out of bounds. It'll give the Panthers the ball on the right baseline. Allison McGrew going to check into the game for Hathaway. Lehman going to check in for Schmotan. Got 4.04 to go in the ball game. Lucas, three-pointer. Good. Chloe Lucas. Chloe has eight. Good rebound there for Korn. Oh, nice look ahead from Lucas. Shot off the mark. Lucas gets the offensive rebound. And she's going to go to the free throw line to shoot two. A foul on Chloe Smith is her second. Chloe Lucas at the free throw line. First time this evening. And makes the first. Back up to 14 for the Panthers' lead. And she makes them both. Ten points now for Chloe Lucas. Lead is up to 15 again for the Panthers. Lucas knocks that one away, not able to save it. Almost ends up in Bob Shank's lap over there. Mr. Happy Burger about had... Uh, Chloe Lucas drive him into the bleachers there. Backside screen on Lehman by Marshall. Lucas gets that one, pokes it away. And blocked by Marshall. McGrew dribbles it on the end line. Conacaw coach calls a timeout. It's a full timeout. Let's take a look here a bit ago, but the uh, steal by Chloe Lucas. So we'll take a timeout with them. Be back here in just a moment on RTC TV4. Back here at the Cage JV Contest. 2.59 left to go in the ballgame. Pioneer leads 26-11 over the McConaughey Braves. It'll be the Braves with the ball coming out of their timeout. Shot off the mark, and McGrew gets the rebound. Elbow jumper, Lehman, just off the mark. Rebound to the Braves. Uh, turnover, steal by Lehman. And she's going to get fouled by Marshall. Two shots coming here for the freshman, Jalen Lehman. And good on the first. Out. 
And the second one as well. Two for two for Jalen Lehman. And the lead is back up to 17. And Lucas going to get called on the personal. It's her first. It's only the third team foul on the Panthers. Minute 32 to go here in the ball game. And that's going to be a turnover for the Braves. We've got them for six here in the fourth quarter, so they finally started putting the ball in the basket a little bit, but they've also increased their turnovers here in the fourth quarter. There is a steal by Rose now. Nice pass, shot off the mark, loose ball, Braves have it, another opportunity, and Lucas comes away with it. <laughs> Lehman, a nice drive to the lane. Offensive rebound, another chance here, and McGrew, second chance on her second chance, puts it in for two. Allison McGrew off the back iron. 19 point lead with 25 to go here in the ball game. Panthers win final score 32 11 over the McConaughey Braves in the JV contest. Everyone, please stand. Starting lineups, first for McConaughey Wall. 
Number three, Avery Miller. Number 12, Lily Maple. Number 15, Miranda Stoll. Number 32, Courtney Stoll. And number two, Lauren Merritt. Starting line up for your Pioneer Panthers. Number 15, Ashlyn Rock! Number 21, Mandy Weisenberger! Number 24, Brooklyn Morgan! Number 30, Haley Cross! And to let the fans know out there, we are going to have an administrative technical for Pioneer because no lineup up problem. So McConaughey will be shooting two foul shots, two technical shots, and have possession out of bounds. All right, so you heard that. The uh, technical called on the bench for the Panthers is a, a book error or something, I believe. And Merritt, or uh, Maple, makes one out of two. So McConaughey has the lead and the ball here to start the game. Maple just inside a three-point line off the back iron, and Stricker gets the rebound for the Panthers. Quickly up ahead to Kripe. Shot off the mark, but Kripe gets the offensive glass, and it's going to roll on the end line, be off of McConaughey. So it will stay Panther ball. Kripe has it on top of the key. She's going to reset the offense. It's like man-to-man -man here for the Braves. Oh, nice little screen roll. Borges for two and one. Well executed play there by Borges and Kripe. That foul is on Miller, her first team's first. And off on the free throw, but it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Kripe. So the Panthers back in front lead for the first time here 2 1. Stricker on Miller. That's poked away by Kripe. Back up top, the Braves will reset the offense. Looking inside to Merritt, back over to Maple. And Maple on the drive, puts it in for two and puts the Braves back in front. Borges from 16, shot off the mark. And the rebound to Miller. Braves bring it back across the timeline. Maple pulls up for three. Six two, Panthers call a timeout. It's a 30 second timeout.
Chloe Maple, the leader of the McConaughey Braves, and she has all six points. 6.26 to go, and the Braves lead 6-2 over the Pioneer Panthers. A bit down a little. Weisenberger over to Borges. Her shot off the mark. Weak side rebound, Ashlyn Brook. Baby hook shot off the mark. Offensive rebound, Mandy Weisenberger. And that one goes over the head of Brooklyn Borges. And the Braves coming back the other way. Long three from Maple off the mark. And Brook gets the rebound for the Panthers. And it's going to be out of bounds off McConaughey. Into Weisenberger. Knocked out of bounds by the Braves. Kylie Adinger back in or into the game for the first time. Adinger missed the game at Frontier last week. That one is tipped by Maple. Stricker pokes it away. Maple picks up the loose ball. Maple goes past Kripe, past Borges. Merritt there for the rebound, puts it in for two. Kripe short on that, Adinger, Merritt gets the rebound. Quickly ahead to Maple. Maple. And Merritt gets over Brooke. It's a quick eight point lead now for The Braves, only two on the board for Pioneer here. 444 to go in the first quarter. Brooks, step back three, long. Rebound to the Braves. Maple and Brooke is going to get called on the foul, sending Maple to the free throw line. It's going to be the first foul on Ashland Brooke. Lily Maple already one for two from the free throw line. She had two free throws before the clock started on the technical shots. And she puts in the first. And gets them both, and that's a 10-point lead now for the Braves early here in the first quarter. Back door to Kripe, and she's going to get fouled. I believe they're going to get Miller. And that's going to be her second. And that will put Haley Kripe at the free throw line shooting two. And Kripe good on the first. <laughs> Bailey Carson checks in in place of Miller. Miller has two fouls with 4.20 to go here in the first quarter. Has to take a break. Adinger gets the rebound. And an assist from Brooke to Stricker. 
Good look ahead there by the junior Ashland Brook, and the freshman puts it in for two. Panthers are going to a 2-3 zone. Going to obviously extend it out when Maple has the ball. Brooke gets a hand on that, knocked away. Carson gets the loose ball. Loose ball, and Braves able to track it down. They keep it alive, another opportunity. That one poked away by Edinger, but Merritt able to get that loose ball. Oh, they're going to get Stricker. It looked like it might be a jump ball, but they're going to get her on the foul, her first. Second team foul on the Panthers. Braves quickly inbounds. The Panthers are sleeping, and Stoll makes them pay for it with the three. Not sure what uh, was going on there on the defensive end by the Panthers, but they got that ball inbounded, and the Panthers were asleep. And that's going to be a turnover. Maple quickly back the other way. And it's poked away by Stricker, and it's going to be out of bounds off of Lily Maple. So the Panthers dodge a bullet there off of the turnover. Brooke walks it across the timeline with 2.45 to go here in the first quarter. And Borges was standing on the sideline on that pass. So another turnover for the Panthers. Ten-point lead here for the Braves with 2.20 to go in the first quarter. It's been all McConaughey here so far. Maple's going to reset the offense here for the Braves. They're going to change that to the 33. They pull up the uh, extend it. And Conaqua is going to take a timeout. 30 second timeout with a minute 44 to go here in the first quarter. Lily Maple has eight. Lauren Merritt has four. And Miranda Stoll has three for McConaqua as they lead 15-5 over the Pioneer Panthers. Ashlyn Brook has not scored yet for Pioneer. Haley Kripe has got one point on uh, one for two from the free throw line. So the two leading scorers for the Panthers so far here in the first quarter have been held to one point total. And out of that timeout, it looks like uh, Pioneer's going to go back to the man-to-man. -man. Kripe on Maple. Kick out, three-pointer in and out that time for Stoll. Kripe gets the rebound. Brooke over to Kripe on the left wing. She has Merritt up top. Not sure who Borges was looking for, Adinger or Stricker, but uh, one was guarded and the other one wasn't looking. That one's blocked by Brooke, and it's going to be out of bounds on Borges. Baker in, Macy Baker going to check into the game. Gonna give McKenna Stricker a break with 50 seconds to go here in the quarter. That shot is off the mark for Carson. Rebound to the Panthers. Quickly up ahead to Baker. Brooke, right wing, three. Short. 
And Baker's going to draw the foul on Merritt. 10, okay, so they're going to say it's Carson picking up the foul, not Merritt, and that's going to put Macy Baker at the free throw line, shooting two. And Macy off on the first. And gets the second one to roll. Baker one of two from the free throw line. Cuts it down to nine. 30 seconds to go here in the quarter. Kripe on Maple. Getting around two screens there. Baker on Carson. Maple gets it back. Borges on Merritt. Good recovery there by Brooke. Three-pointer short, and that's rebounded by Adinger, and that's going to do it for the first quarter. At the end of one, McConaughey leads 15-6. Take a break and come back for second quarter action here from the cage on RTC TV4. Back here as we move into the second quarter here at Pioneer High School. It's a 15-6 lead for the McConaughey Braves and stat line you don't see too often after one quarter Borges and McKenna Stricker lead the team with two each Haley Kripe and Macy Baker both have one Ashlyn Brook has not scored and Haley Kripe has one point so one point in that quarter for the two leading scorers for the Pioneer Panthers pretty good uh, guess here that that's not going to happen for the second quarter Lily Maple had a big quarter with eight. Lauren Merritt had four, and Miranda Stoll had three. As we start the second quarter, it's going to be Pioneer with the ball. And Ashlyn Brook starts off the quarter with a bang and a three-pointer. Cuts the lead to six. Baker on Carson. Kripe gets around the merit screen, stays on Maple. Mandy Weisenberger back into the game at the quarter break. Poked away. It's going to be McConaughey's ball. I think Pioneer figured out some things on that defense in that second part of that quarter. And uh, you know their offense is going to get going. It's just a matter of uh, time. Pull up three, Ashlyn Brook. And that's a good way to start two three-pointers for Brook. And the lead is down to three, what was nine at the quarter. Maple is going to try and answer, and bank is open for Lily Maple. 11 points now for Maple in the first half. Pass in to Adinger. Nice job getting open. Good job there by Weisenberger getting that loose ball. Long three, Ashlyn Brook. Weisenberger almost had that offensive rebound. It's poked away by Stahl. And back the other way come the McConaughey Braves. Kripe works her way through a couple screens, able to stay on Maple. Carson has it with Baker on her, tries to go baseline. Good defense there by Baker. Merritt shot off the mark, and that's going to be tipped out of bounds by Ashlyn Brook. Brooklyn Borg is going to check back in for Mandy Weisenberger. That is going to be poked out of bounds, and they're going to say off of Maple. 
First turnover for the Braves here in the ball game. 5.50 to go. Six point McConaughey lead, 18 12. Borges had it just inside the free throw line, kicks it out to Haley Kripe for three. Kripe has four, and the lead is down to three for the Braves. Maple almost carried it, kicks it out to Carson over to Stoll. Back up top, Maple resets the offense. Maple gets a screen from Merritt. And there's poked away. Haley Kripe with the steal. Haley Kripe going down against Maple and puts it in for two more. Panthers back to within one. Kripe and Brooke have come to life here in the second quarter. Both have six. And it's going to be a foul on Borges. Take a look at that steal and bucket again from Haley Kripe. As she poked it away from Maple. Carson Lane shooting two. As the first foul on Borges, it puts Carson at the line shooting two free throws. And she is off on the first. Second one is no good either. Adinger gets the rebound. Baker was trying to get it in the board, just poked away by Merritt. Miller going to check back into the game. She's got those two fouls. She's going to give Carson a break. Got to get it in. Out top to Baker. Gets a screen from Borges. Poked away by Kripe. Kripe has Brooke ahead for two. And that puts Panthers back in front by one. All the way back from a 10-point deficit, now lead 19-18, 4.07 left here in the quarter. And the bank is open for Miller for three. Braves back in front by two. And a turnover on the Panthers. Maple has it up top, over to Stoll, back up top to Maple. Stoll, left wing three, off the mark. Merritt gets the rebound. Maple pulls up, 10-footer, no good. Brooke gets the rebound. And it's going to be poked out by the Braves, so it'll stay Pioneer's ball. Gorgeous, 15-footer, off the mark, Kripe, offensive rebound. Shot no good, but a foul coming on the Braves. It looks like it's going to be on Stull. That'll be the first on Courtney Stull. That'll put Haley Kripe at the free throw line, shooting two. She's one for two from the free throw line tonight. And puts in the first. And Kripe, two for two, and we're tied at 21. <laughs> Good, 
Molly Nord checked into the game for McConaughey, replacing Stull. And they're going to call Miranda Stull on the backside on the push on Brooke. Stricker's checking back into the game for Baker. Good, uh, good minutes there by Macy Baker. Good to see her back. She did not play the second half of the Frontier game with a ankle injury. They're trying to get it down to Adiger, and it's going to be out of bounds off of Kylie. 19 to go here in the first half. We are all tied at 21. Weak side rebound, Kylie Adinger. And Brooke was trying to get Kripe, but Borges was right there as well, and I think it was tipped away. Actually, by Borges. Full timeout. So we have a full timeout called by McConaughey Wall with 2.02 to go here in the first half. So we'll take a break. Come back with more here from the cage in just a moment on RTC TV4. Welcome back here to the cage at Pioneer High School. 2.02 to go in the first half. We are all tied at 21. McConaughey led 15-6 at the end of the first quarter. Eight points here in the second quarter by Ashlyn Brook. Seven points by Haley Kripe. And we are all knotted at 21 coming out of the McConaughey timeout. Step back three, Maple, got it. Six in the quarter for Lily Maple. Shot off the mark, rebound Merritt. Maple into Merritt. Adinger gets the rebound. Three-pointer off the mark. Adinger tips it over. Brooke runs into a McConaughey player. That was Miller that Brooke ran into, and that's going to be a jump ball. Braves will get it. And Borges gets the steal, tipped away by Brooke. Good defense there by the Panthers. In the Adinger, can't finish. Loose ball poked away by Kripe, and it's going to be on the in line, and it's going to be Panthers ball. Good job there by Kripe poking that away off of the McConaughey player. 11 seconds to go here in the quarter, in the half. Kripe off the inbound for two. Pulls the Panthers to within one. Shot at the buzzers, no good at the half. The McConaughey Braves lead. 24-23 over Pioneer. We'll take a break and come back with the halftime stats and get you all caught up 
on what else is going around, on around the area and what else is coming up. We'll be back in a moment here on RTC TV4. Panthers have the ball here to start things off. Chance to regain the lead. Brooke, left wing three, in and out, and Borges able to track down the offensive rebound. And Stricker's going to get tied up. That's going to go back over to McConaughey on the turnover. Looks like the Panthers back in the man-to-man. -man. Kripe on Maple. Stricker pokes it away. Good recovery. Merritt. Good defense there by Kylie Adinger on Merritt. Stoll back up top to Stoll. Kripe knocks it out. Good defense there by Haley Kripe. Knocked it away from Maple. Going to stay McConaughey ball. Maple. And that's going to roll in for Maple. 4 3. Four point lead now for the Braves. Crossover, good. Ashlyn Brook gets into the paint and the foul. Miller on the foul. It's the third foul on Miller. And the free throw is good for Brook. Panthers backed within one. Maple, no good, and good rebound there by Adinger. And it's going to be knocked out of bounds by Merritt. Panthers have the ball with a chance to either tie or take the lead with a three. And in and out for Brook. Rebound to Miller. Maple brings it across with Kripe on her. Stoll three-pointer left wing. No good. Rebound Stricker. Stricker gets it over to Brook. Brook pushing it across the timeline. Quickly ahead. Runner in the paint. Short. Tipped out of bounds by Stoll. And it's going to be Panthers ball. Brooke, blocked by Merritt. It'll stay Pioneer's ball. Trying to get it in the Kripe, and it gets away from her, and that's going to be picked up by Merritt. Miller and one. Chance for a three-point play here for Miller. Foul on Brooklyn Borges. And Mandy Weisenberger is going to check into the game for Brooklyn Borges. Miller with the free throw. No good. Weisenberger gets the rebound. Oh, 
Brooke, a little bit too strong across the paint. Tipped away by Stricker. Good defense there by Stricker, forcing the turnover. And I don't know who Brooke was looking for there, but there was three Braves right there. Turnover for the Panthers. Poked away from Miller by Kripe. Kripe going one on two. And Stricker had it, and Coach Brooke calls a timeout. And it's going to be a full timeout for the Panthers with 4.06 to go. Trailing by three, they'll have the ball when we get back here on RTC TV4. We see Baker checking into the game for Stricker at the timeout. Baker in, replacing Stricker. Stricker had a couple of really good defensive plays there over the last couple of minutes to... Uh, Give the ball back to the Panthers, including that uh, getting that ball there. Coach Brooke called a timeout. And one for Ashlyn Brooke. Foul on Courtney Stoll. And the second three-point play in the quarter for Ashlyn Brook. We're tied again at 29. 3.48 to go here in the third quarter. Merritt, 15-footer, hard off the back iron, and Brook gets the rebound. She's got Kripe running. Pulls back, and that's going to be blocked out of bounds. They're going to say that was all ball. Panthers will have the ball baseline right. Oh, nice swing over there by Weisenberger. Kind of faded away, though, on that shot. Not able to put it in. There's a steal by Kripe. And two puts the Panthers back in front. Haley Kripe's first points of the second half. She has 12, and the Panthers lead 31-29. Brooke uh, gets tangled up with Merritt, almost pokes it away from Miller. Maple gets around Kripe, and she's going to get fouled on her way to the basket. And they're going to call Mandy Weisenberger on that foul. That is Mandy's first. Putting Lily Maple at the free throw line, shooting two. She's three of four from the free throw line. Make that four of five as she cuts the lead to one. Chance to tie it again here at 31. Actually, never mind. Yeah, I had my score right. Never mind. Off the front iron, Stoll with the offensive rebound, put back, no good. Another opportunity, and she puts it in for two. Two extra chances there for Stoll. And Courtney Stoll puts the Braves back in front. Three-pointer over Merritt, long for Haley Kripe. Rebound, Lily Maple. Merritt running the floor, and that's going to be poked away by Kylie Attinger. It'll be McConaughey's ball here on the left baseline. McConaughey 32, Pioneer 31. Merritt for two more for McConaughey. Merritt with six. That's her first points in the second half. Poked away from Brooke. Kripe comes up with the loose ball. Merritt almost gets it stole. 15 footer Brooke off the mark. Kripe gets the offensive rebound. 
And a jump ball, and that will stay Pioneer. Adinger over Merritt. Kylie Adinger's first points of the game, and their Panthers are back to within one. Miller over, gets her rebound, poked away by Adinger. Baker on the ground, stole, left wing three. Courtney Stoll has five in the quarter. And it's a four-point lead for the Braves. Step back three, Ashlyn Brooke. Good for three. Back to within one. Maple almost gets it to go. She's going to get fouled by Adinger on the three-point shot. First foul on Adinger, and that's going to put Lily Maple at the free throw line, shooting three. And Maple connects on the first. Second free throw off the front iron. Brooklyn Borges is going to check back in for Weisenberger. And the third free throw here for Lily Maple. And she converts two out of three on that three-point foul. And the lead is back up to three for the Pan or the Braves. Borges from Brooke. And tipped out of bounds. Nice look there from Ashlyn Brooke into Borges. Not able to put that one in. It's going to be tipped off the Braves, so it will be Pioneer's ball. A lot of contact by Merritt, no call. And the Braves coming back the other way with a three-point lead. 30 seconds to go here in the third quarter. Gripe with the steal, 10 seconds. And it's going to be poked away. And a foul coming on Stoll, I believe. That is on Miranda Stoll, her second. Baker, three-pointer off the mark. Loose ball. Brooks shot off the mark, and that'll do it for the third quarter. Pioneer, 36. Conoquo, 39. Conoquo leads 39-36. After three, we'll take a break and come back with the fourth quarter here in just a moment on RTC. All right, back here at the cage after three. McConaughey leads 39-36 as we move into the fourth quarter. Lily Maple has 20 here in three quarters to lead all scorers. Ashlyn Brook has 17 all in the second and third quarters. It'll be McConaughey ball here to start things off. Miller with Stricker on her, poked away. 
Step back three, got it, Miller for three. Miller has eight, that was good defense, but Stricker just relaxed and let her shoot the wide open shot. And Merritt's gonna get called on the personal. That's her first foul. Miller on the foul. Action personal line shooting two. And Brooke puts in the first. Well, they called, wow, okay, they called Miller on that, so Merritt does not have any fouls, and that's actually Miller's fourth. So Brooke converts both free throws. Panthers back to within four. Stricker pokes it away, can't save it to anybody, but uh, Merritt... Unfortunately, she was the only one there. Knocked away, turnover for the Braves. Rebound to McConaughey. Maple gets into the paint. She's going to get fouled. Lily Maple going to the free throw line, shooting two. Let's see who they call that foul on. They're going to be on Brooklyn Borges. That is her third, I believe. And Maple converts on the first. She has 21. And the lead is back up to five for the Braves. Two for two for Maple. Six point McConaughey lead, 6.30 to go here in the ball game. Baseline three, Haley Kreit. Got it. Cuts the lead in half. Conquaw's all-time leading scorer, Haley Kripe, going up against a 1,000-plus point scorer, Lily Maple, with Ashlyn Brook. They've uh, all been big here in the second half. Poked away. Borges comes up with it. Good defense there by Pioneer. Kick out, gonna try the right side. Just long, Merritt gets the board. Maple back the other way, trying to go on Kripe. Good defense there by Haley Kripe. Stoll, top of the key, in and out. Rebound, Brooklyn Borges. And there's a foul on Merritt. That'll be Lauren Merritt's first foul. Baker comes in Baker. for Stricker. Conclaw up, 44-41. And that's going to be tipped out by McConaughey, so it'll stay Pioneer's ball. Fifteen footer step back for Brooke. And Pioneers back to within one. Nobody picks up Stall. She goes in and buries the fifteen footer. Not sure what happened there. Uh, the defense kind of fell asleep for the Panthers. 
And there's a foul on the floor. That's only the sixth team foul on the McConaughey Braves. That's going to be on Miranda Stoll, her third. So bonus time coming for the Panthers on the next foul by McConaughey. And just get it in. Cribe gets a screen from manager, kicks it over, baseline three. Long. Edinger keeps it alive. Haley Cribe gets it, and she's going to be fouled by Merritt. Good work there by Haley Edinger. Kylie Edinger keeping the. Ball alive, knocking it over to Haley Kripe. Kripe takes it in, and the foul on Merritt will be her second. And that will put Haley Kripe at the free throw line, shooting two. That is the seventh team foul, so it'll be one in the bonus as well on the next common foul for Pioneer. And the second free throw is good. Two free throws by Haley Kripe. Pull the Panthers back to within one. Timeout on the floor for Pioneer. We'll take a break. Come back with more here from the cage at Pioneer. Team to go here in the fourth quarter. The Panthers back to within one, 46-45. It'll be McConaughey's ball coming out of the timeout called by Coach Brooke. And this is uh, this has been what we thought it would be as advertised. Back and forth battle here between the Braves and the Panthers. Right, picks up Maple full court. Everyone else is going to pick up half. Again, I want to thank Hunter Lesher of the Pioneer AV Club here helping out with the camera tonight. Appreciate his work. Kripe with good defense on Maple. Nowhere to go for Lily Maple. Trying to get a stall screen. She's going to take the left. And go around for two. There's a reason she's the leading scorer for McConaughey. She is a very, very good player. She's got four here in the quarter. Cry right wing three. Got it! Haley Cry ties us at 48. Eight points in the quarter. And Cry just a little bit too much there. She's going to get called on the foul. That is her first. And McConaughey wants to take a timeout with 3.24 to go here in the fourth quarter. We are knotted at 48. We'll be back in a moment here on RTC TV4. Back in fourth we go. Lily Maple, Ashlyn Brook, Haley Kripe. Lauren Merritt, it's been a fun one here tonight at the cage. 324 to go in regulation. Who knows? We may be getting some extra. 48-48. Pioneer is in the bonus. It's McConaughey ball coming out of the timeout. And Merritt stepped on the baseline. Good defense there by the Panthers, forcing the turnover. Chance to take the lead here for the Panthers. Maple tips that one. Borges, or Brooke able to get it from Borges. 
And into the paint is Ashlyn Brook, and she's going to get fouled on the scoop shot, going to the free throw line, shooting two. Foul is going to be on Lauren Merritt, her third. Ashlyn Brook the line, shooting two. Ashlyn Brook, good on the first. Puts the Panthers back in front. Second free throw as well. Two-point lead now for Pioneer. Kripe not letting Lily Maple get the ball. She's strictly face-guarding Maple now. I feel bad for Lily Maple. She's not going to see the ball. Nice backdoor cut, though, for Lil Avery Miller. Miller has 10. We're tied at 50. Uh, Brooke wedges it in the glass. I think the jump ball will go to the Panthers. Conclaw fans weren't real thrilled with that, and yeah, I am right on that line. Into Borges, good catch by Borges. Back over to Brook for two. <laughs> Miller in the paint, eight foot runner. Miller's got seven in the fourth quarter, and we're tied again at 52. And that's going to be a foul on Lily Maple, her first. That'll put Ashlyn Brook at the free throw line, shooting the one and the bonus. Minute. Stricker going to come back in for Baker. Minute 51 to go here in the fourth quarter. 52 52. Ashton Brook at the free throw line, shooting the one and the bonus. And it rims out. Rebound, though. Brooklyn Borges. And the Panthers get another opportunity. Scoop shot. For Brook. And Haley Kripe going to get called on her second. It's the team's sixth. Brooke gets it over to Stricker. Stricker for two! Woo! Rebound. Brooke gets it over to Kripe. 56-52, minute nine to go. And Coach Brooke wants to take a timeout. Oh, my goodness. So we got to take a look at a couple of replays here while we're doing this timeout. Let's see where we go back here. So there's that rebound pass over to Ashlyn. And then here is... Ashlyn with the scoop shot in the paint. Makes it 54-52. And then the good defense from Ashlyn Brook tips it ahead. 
and Stricker puts it in from the left side for two, 56-52. I was thinking I was going to have to get on Hunter there. He almost missed that one, but a good job of recovering there. 56-52, minute one to go. It's going to be Pioneer's ball coming out of the timeout. I believe both teams have two timeouts left. Hopefully I hit the button when uh, Coach Brooke called that timeout. I think I did. Whew. I have to take my minute here and catch my breath. Pioneer ball, minute one, four-point lead for the Panthers here in the fourth quarter from the cage. going to be double bonus time. Boy, <laughs> it's going to take something to get that foul, I guess. Conklaw's kind of wanting to foul him. Stoll with the tight defense and there. Merritt's going to get the foul. That's going to be Merritt's fourth. And that'll put Haley Kripe at the free throw line shooting the double bonus. Kripe has 20 for the night, eight here in the quarter. And the first free throw off the front iron and in for Haley Kripe. Five point lead, largest of the, ooh, might be the largest of the game, I don't know, for the uh, Panthers. Coming into the game is Carson, and she will replace Stoll. Second free throw, front iron and in as well for Haley Kripe. Six point lead. Poked away from Maple. Maple long three left wing, no good. Rebound Ashland Brook. And Brook immediately fouled by Maple or Merritt, and that's going to be Merritt's fifth. She is going to foul out. Brooke to the line, Lauren Merritt will foul out with six points. Courtney still back into the game to replace Merritt. And Ashlyn Brooke with the free throw. Gives the Panthers a seven-point lead with 20 seconds to go. Brooke. Makes them both. 60-52. Three-pointer off the mark. Kripe gets the rebound. They're going to just let it run out. Three, two, one. And that's the ball game, folks. The Pioneer Panthers come back and win at 60 to 52 over the Maconaqua Braves. What a ball game here. All right, we're going to take a minute here, catch our breath, and uh, thank some sponsors and come back. We're going to total up our stats, get you some uh, post game here, and hopefully Coach Brooke will uh, have a minute to come up and chat here after this one. What an exciting game here at the cage. The Pioneer Panthers come back and win 60-52. <laughs> 